This is Dr. Sayyid Rizwan Hussain. I am working as Professor of Physics and Head of the Physics Department at NUST School of Natural Sciences. My research group is working on a resistive random access memory that we call as RAMs. Currently, the RAMs being used in computers, they store data in a volatile way. That means if uh, the power is shut down, all the data being stored in the computer will be lost. Secondly, the RAMs that are being built uh, are based on the heavy uh, substrate, heavy bulk materials that uh, make them uh, heavy and difficult to carry from one to another place. What we are trying to, to fabricate is uh, to use flexible materials based on carbon-based two-dimensional materials. These materials provide good electrical conductivity and also uh, they can provide a substrate free fabrication of these devices that make them lightweight and easier to carry from one to another place. So uh, the materials that we are working on are based on two dimensional carbon based materials, uh, mainly graphene oxide and graphene. Graphene oxide is an insulator that is uh, placed as an insulating layer between top and bottom electrodes. Electrodes are being fabricated through laser uh, scribing uh, when we uh, reduce graphene oxide, it becomes conductive and that can be used as the conductive context for the devices. So RAMs that we are working on are named as memristors. Memristors are a sandwich of, uh, of these three uh, layers uh, that we call as a tri-layer device and is flexible as well because graphene and other carbon-based two-dimensional materials provide us uh, an opportunity to fabricate uh, without having a substrate used to grow on uh, these uh, these materials. So alongside this uh, this project, we have also introduced for the first time using these 2D materials, uh, ferroelectric uh, magazines. Magazines are also uh, carbon-based two-dimensional materials uh, and they, uh, they can induce ferroelectric property into the device. Now when we introduce ferroelectric two-dimensional materials sandwiched between the two uh, top and bottom electrodes, they provide us uh, a critical voltage assistance in the sense that we can invest small energy to, in, to enhance its efficiency, also to increase the storage of information in a non-volatile way. So this is what we are doing right now to introduce ferroelectric uh, two-dimensional materials in the memory store device and reduce its energy consumption and store the device in uh, store the data in non-volatile way. All right, so while, while working with memristors, uh, we can also use it for a neuromorphic computing application. You know, our brain is a robust information processing unit uh, that process information that recognize a pattern, facial recognition uh, in a fraction of, uh, of nanoseconds. Uh, the information process in the brain is transferred from one neuron to another neuron through biological synapses. Memristor, on the other hand, can also provide us a way to fabricate artificial synapse and process this information in a very quick way as we do using our brain. So Memristor's another application is also to process and store information in a very quick way and thus can also be used as artificial intelligence uh, main unit to facial recognize or uh, recognition of the pattern, etc., in various different applications. So, uh, after completion of this product, uh, we now can fabricate flexible memory store devices that can help us to store uh, information in a non volatile way in computer hard disk drives that can read and write information.